What is up everyone? Kyle here, otherwise known as Twisted 500, back with another video. As you can see, Zeus is just behind me playing while I'm hanging out in the garage here. Uh, no car, car still at the shop, and exhaust is there, drive shaft there, all stuff for sale if you guys want it. I uh, got some wedding, I like got a new, this deep freeze for as a wedding present, so I haven't put it in a spot yet. Wife has me uh, building some stuff for the wedding, so garage is a little messy, but that's okay. So, as you guys, I don't know if you guys saw, if you did, my Instagram post where uh, I have the new bare brakes and the weld wheels on, S71s uh, in the rear. Haven't posted what's in the front yet, but I will say that the fronts are uh, bare brakes as well. Uh, I'll be posting up what's on the front here in a little bit. Um, so, bare brakes, front and rear, new wheel setup and everything. Uh, so, that means the factory brakes, calipers, all that stuff is off. Uh, actually got them boxed up over there in the corner there. If you guys want them, they'll be going for sale. You guys get first dibs because you'll find out first. Let me know. They're already boxed up, ready to go. I'll get them out to you as soon as I can. So what's going to be included uh, if you guys do buy it will be front and rear calipers, front and uh, rear rotors. You got the e-brake uh, calipers as well, along with uh, control front control arms and the front spindles. Uh, to get the bare brakes to work, we actually had to swap them out. The uh, bolts didn't quite line up. Uh, so you will get included in that. Uh, that will be included as well. So anybody with just a GT, a GT350, GT350 will take a little bit of work on the rear just because it's different, but the uh, caliper attachment point other than the e-brake caliper is the exact same as a GT in the rear, just a little bit different up front. So you guys will have literally everything you need uh, to bolt these straight on to your S550. So if you have a road course car or you just want GT500 brakes, I'm including everything you need to just attach it up, bolt it up. All you have to do is just put everything together, bleed the brakes, and you have some, probably the best brakes on the market right now. These GT500 brakes will get a 4,000 pound car down to zero like it's nothing. So nice little mod if you guys want it, but that's not why I'm here. The reason why I'm here is the bare brakes are on the car. So let's figure out how much these things actually weigh. Uh, they're all boxed up. Uh, the boxes between themselves probably weigh five, 10 pounds with all the packing material, stuff like that. Not much, but I'm still gonna weigh it just to see what everything weighs. So you guys get a rough estimate of how much weight these brakes actually We'll save switching them if you're a drag racer, but how heavy duty these uh, these factory brakes actually are. So let's get over there and move some stuff around. Uh, little teaser, K member from my car is there too. Uh, so let's get these weighed and see what everything actually weighs. So all right, let's get these weighed. As soon as this wedding's over, this garage is getting cleaned up. So don't y'all worry. I know it's a mess, trust me, but I was not going to move everything around just to have to move everything back. So you can see the saws there, everything. Just leaving it there, the car, the Shelby's not here yet, finishing up a couple more things, which I'll be unveiling here soon. Let's just get these weighed and tell you exactly what everything weighs. So let's just start off with this box here. Uh, what is in it? These are just the uh, spindles and then the control arms. As you can see in there, everything. So just so y'all can see, let's throw it on. You can see the box lid here. 45.2. Says 56.6. Let's try it again. Fifty-six point six. Put this one back. So is this box right here? As you can see, it's the rear calipers. Underneath are the rear rotors, e-brake calipers. Sorry. We're gonna save this box for last. Just two front rotors. That's all that's in that one. We're gonna do this one. This one is front calipers, and then rear calipers underneath. So this is just calipers right there. And then rotors right there, so let's get them weighed. Okay. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Front and rear caliper box. Get it turned on. One, two, three. Oh, didn't even register. One, two, three. 
66.4, just the calipers. Let's see, let's get started. Hey bud, come join. One, two, three, lift it up. 87.4 for both. All right, guys, here it is. Got the numbers there. What do y'all think? So obviously I showed you there. You guys can do some quick math. Not gonna waste your time. Not gonna like make you guess or anything. So here it is. Total uh, 46.2 control arms and spindles, 56.6 for the rear, rear rotors and the e-brake calipers. 66.4 all calipers, that was that other box. Then 87.4 just for the front rotors. That's not hubs, spindles, anything like that. The carbon fiber track pack comes with longer uh, studs. Those probably weigh more. I don't have those, I don't have the studs out. This is just rotors, all that stuff. So you can see it there, I'm not lying. 45.2, 56.6, 66.4, 87.4 for a grand total of 255.6 pounds. Now that weight is just brakes. That's not all the other stuff I've done to the car. Uh, K members out, that saved quite a lot of weight. I'll wait, uh, do another video on that coming up. Have some other stuff coming too. Some suspension parts, which I'll be going over. I uh, got some more lightweight, go fast parts, which will be coming here shortly. Everything's gonna be coming up real, real quick. Yeah guys, hopefully get to make quite a few videos here shortly. Uh, we'll be getting married, so that's gonna take about a week out where I'm not gonna do anything, is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's just the brakes. Can't imagine, I I mean, I can't imagine they were that heavy. I wasn't expecting it to be that heavy. I was thinking maybe 200 pounds, like 200 pounds, including the K-member and the brakes out of the car. Now you guys have to factor in. So the brakes, by the time I did the swap over, is probably right at 200 pounds. Uh, the bare brakes I used, roughly around 60 pounds. So just in brakes, swapping out the old ones, putting in the new ones, 200 pound savings. Now, you guys know in drag racing, the saying is a 10th is 100 pounds. Well, those 200 pounds out of the car, that's a 10th. Uh, that's two tenths, actually. I'm, my math's wrong. Two tenths, I went 823 on the stock motor. That's a seven, seven second car with all the other stuff we have out of the car, which I'll explain here soon. So, not saying the car will go sevens, not saying, I'm just saying it should go sevens. Um, not gonna go out, call. Uh, say the car is a seven second car when it's not yet. I'm going to say it is when we've actually went sevens. Uh, so there it is guys, quick little video, just the brakes. Uh, more things come in, suspension, mods, things like that. Uh, hoping to get some live videos here soon. My schedule's just packed coming up here. It is um, planning for the wedding, all that stuff, work. Hey Zeus, come on, get over here. So getting ready for all that stuff. Uh, Live videos will just kind of be a spur of the moment thing. I'll try to give you guys as much warning as possible so you can get on and chat with me if you want. Like I said, I can't believe the brakes and everything weigh that much, but I'm excited to get that much weight out of the car by doing something so little. So there it is, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all soon.